right? So let's look at uh, 20, 22 paper 2. That is internal examination. Now, question number 7. Question 7 has got three parts. Just part A, part B, and part what? Part C. So let's look at uh, part A first time. Yeah. So part A is a question on uh, approximations. Okay? It's saying express 0 0.3475 in standard form. Correct? To two significant figures. So this question carries two marks. Right? So we have been given this number 0 0.3475. Now we are told to express or to write this number in what? Standard what? Form. So the way to write this, the formula is A times 10 raised to the power N, where this N is the integer. Now the integer can either be positive or what? Negative. Are we together? Then this number, this A, A is a number which is 1 plus. When I say 1, it should start from 1, but it should be less than what? Less than 10. Right? Yeah. Now this number, we cannot put this number where A is because this number is less than one, right? So we need to uh, increase this number, okay? So the only way we can increase this number is by moving this decimal place and you put this decimal place in between what? Three and what? Four. So I went to have three <coughs> point what? Four, seven, five, multiplied by 10 raised to the power A. Now A, that is the integer. So how many decimal places have we moved? Only the one. But look at the nature of the number, if this number is less than one, hence the integer is going to be negative. So negative what? One. So we've written this number in standard form, but the question is, the condition is, we need to write this number correct to how many significant? Two significant what? Because so just consider two numbers which are important, right? So which are what? So three and why? So I don't say three. Point. Now, before we write this 4, you can get 1 from this 7 and you add this to what? To 4. So it becomes 3 points what? By multiplied by 10 raised to the power negative 1. So this is our answer. I hope you got this one correct, people. Very good. Now, let us look at a question on statistics. Okay? It says uh, the frequency table be, uh, shows. The max of 10 by grade 8 learners in mathematics at a certain one school. So this table, it is showing the max of 10 by what? Grade 8 what? Learners in mathematics at a certain school. Now this table has got two rows. The first row is uh, showing the max they obtain, right? In terms of the range, okay? Then in the second uh, row it is showing the frequency in the number of what? Learners, okay? So those who got uh, 40 to 44, they were how many? Three. Those who got uh, 45 to 49, they were how many? Ten. Then uh, we have 50 to 54, they were how many? They were three. Is it okay, guys? Yes. Then uh, 55 to 59, they were how many? They were four. And then the question is saying now, calculate uh, the mean mark. They want us to find the what? The mean mark. Okay? So the mean... V as a formula, so it's a V, which is X bar, which is donated by X bar, that's a symbol user, okay? It's equal to summation, summation of the frequency multiplied by the midpoint over <coughs> the summation of the frequency. Is it okay? That's the formula we use. Now, Firstly, we have the frequency. These are the frequency design. But what we don't have is the midpoint, which is x. We don't have x, so we need to find x. Okay? We need to find x. x on each what? On each uh, point. Are we together? Yes. So in this range, we need to find uh, x midpoint, even on this one. So what is the midpoint of uh, the range 4 to 44? It's what? The number which is in between is what? 42. Yeah, it's 42. Then the number in between uh, 45 to 49 is what? It's 40? 47. 47, okay? Mm -hmm. Then the number which is in between uh, 50 and 54 is what? 52. Uh, 50 what? 2. The number in between what? Uh, 55 to 59 is what? 57. Uh, 57. Now, 
those who are unable to, to know what we're doing, okay? What we're doing is like the first range is 40 to what? 45. So we're saying the, the number which is in between the point is what? 42. So if we count 40, let's say 41, then for what? 42, then for what? 3 and for what? But for you realize the number which is in between, it's 42, which is our x side, the midpoint, is it okay? Then the other, it's what? 40, 45 to what, guys? Is it 49? So when you count 45, 46, 47, 48, and 40 what? The number which is in between is what? 47, so this is our what? Midpoint. You do the same to 50, to 55, 55 to what? Then you can now proceed and say x bar, which is mean x bar is equal to multiply the frequency and the midpoint. So the first frequency is what? It's see, 3. So it's a 3 multiplied by what, guys? 40. Is it 42? Which is the midpoint time. Plus, take note, and take your time. Uh, our, mid, our frequency is what? 10. 10 multiplied by its corresponding uh, midpoint is what? 47. Plus, our frequency is what? 3. Multiplied by its corresponding uh, midpoint is what? Uh, 52 plus. The last frequency is what, guys? Is it 4? 4 multiplied by what is our midpoint? Is it 57, guys? Yes. Very good. Then you divide by what? By the total total frequency. So the total frequency, what you do is just add 3 plus what? 10, very good. Plus what, guys? 3 plus what? Four. Are we together, guys? Then you okay, can uh, move on and say x bar is equal to. Now let's multiply this. Let's take our time. You know, uh, 3 times 2 is what? It's 6. Is it okay? Then uh, 3 times uh, 4 is what? 4. So I'm saying 3 times 2 is what? 6, right? 6, right? Then uh, 3 times 4 is 12. Is it okay? So we have 1 to 6. Is it okay? Plus, then uh, 1 times 47 is what? You get 47. But we have this divided. So we have 47. Is it okay? Then the next one is, uh, this one's supposed to be 50, what? 52, but I've written, uh, check for me this figure, right? So here you can even multiply and say, uh, 2 times 3 is what? It's 6, is it okay? 6. Then uh, 3 times uh, 5 is what? I hope this one is correct now, right? Plus. Then the last figure, that side, uh, it's what? Is it 57? Check for me. And what? Times four. So what are we getting here? Uh, look at this one. Four times seven is twenty-eight, right? So you write uh, eight carry forward what? Carry forward two. Is it five? Then four times uh, five is twenty plus two. You get twenty-two. Is it? Yes. I hope now these figures are correct, right? Yes. Okay. Two what? Two twenty-eight. Then divide it by. When you add the frequencies, what are we getting? Twenty. Twenty. Okay. Thank you. So let's uh, see where the 20 is coming from, right? Yes. So 3 plus uh, 10, 18 plus uh, 3, 18 plus 4, get what? 20. 20, very good. Then when you add the, the numerator, what are you going to get? This plus, this plus, this plus, this, get what? 9 and what? 8. So 980 divided by what, guys? 20, very good. So x bar. It's equal to, you realize uh, this and this are going to be We have 28 divided by what, guys? Divided by 2. Is it okay? So x bar, thank you. Because uh, now, guys, uh, 2 into 9 is what? Four. It's 4. Remember? You, you put this one. This one becomes 89. Yes. 2 into 18 is what? Yeah. It's 9. So the answer is what? 49 Four. max as our what? That's our mean name. Now let's look at the last question, just because you see. A question, uh, it's said. Now, move on, guys. Uh, on the X O Y plane, this is our X O Y plane, right? X O Y plane, right? Or you can, you can also call it a Cartesian plane, right? Cartesian what? Plane. Okay? 
They are saying this is a very, very simple question, right? Yes. Plot the points. So point three is what? One comma negative two. And ensure that you just check for me this coordinate sign. Check for me the way this coordinate is done. Yes, I made a mistake in terms of writing. Check for me this coordinate sign. If they are just okay. Okay? So P is what, guys? P is uh, 1 comma negative 2. Check for me. Okay? 1 comma negative 2. So let us plot 1 comma negative 2. So when they say, guys, 1 comma negative 2, are we together? The one it is for x, the one is what? The one is for x, then negative 2 is what? Y. So you go in the x axis, and you identify where 1 is, so this is 1, right? But I said comma negative 2, so you move down 1, this comma negative 2 in the y. This is where the point is, right? This is a 1 comma negative 2, okay? This is a 1 comma what? Negative 2. Is it okay, people? Then, that is our point what? Point P. Then point Q, guys, is what? Six comma negative two. How together? Remember, the six is for x. Then negative two is for what? Y. So where is six in the x-axis? This is six, right? Comma what? Negative two downward. This is where negative two in the y is, right? So you move like this straight. Okay? How together? So they are meeting here, right? Are we together, guys? Are we together? Yes. So take note, guys, that uh, this point, this point is our P, okay? I show that to label. Then this is our what? This is our Q. Is it fine with you? Yes. Very good. Then what is our point R? All right, what, guys? 6 to my 1. 6 is for X. I. So you go where 6 is in the X axis, I. Comma 1, this is 6. Then in the wire, this is what? 1. This is the point, right? 6, 1. Are we together? This is our point, what? R. Is it okay, guys? Then uh, the other one is what? 1, 1. The other one is what? Which is point, what? S. S is 1, 1. Are we together, guys? 1, 1. So you go in the, this is 1. In the X axis. Then in the Y is 1, right? So 1, 1 is here. 1, 1 is where the point is. And this is our point what? Point S. Are we together? So we've plotted according to the first question. Say, plot the points P, Q, R, and S. We've plotted. So we've answered the first question. We've answered the first question. Are we together, people? Yes. Now, uh, the other question is say, join the points P, Q, R, and S to form a quadrilateral. You know a quadrilateral? A quadrilateral it is a four-sided polygon. Right? Yes. So they want us to join the point. So let's join. So we can join this to this side. P to S. Then R to Q. Are we together, guys? Then P to what? P to Q. Join with the ruler nice line. Then uh, R to what, guys? R to S like this. Are we together? Yes. We are done. We've joined, done. Yes. Is it okay? Then the last question is saying. Draw the graph of y equals 3. This is a very, very simple question. Y is equal to 3. What you do is, you just go in the y-axis where 3 is, right? Where is 3 in the y-axis? This is 3, right? And come up with the what? A straight what? A straight line. Are we together? You come up with what? A straight line like this. And you say this is y is equal to what? It's equal to 3. We are done. As simple as that. Are we doing it? Yes.